What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Flask blueprints to make our Flask applications more modular and more professional. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn about Flask blueprints in this video today. And this is a concept or a feature of the Flask framework, which is very useful because it allows us to make our applications more modular, more professional, and it makes it easy for multiple people to be working on the same project, on the same application without interfering uh, as much as they would otherwise. So the basic idea of a blueprint is that you have different modules, different uh, components, you could say different blueprints, and all of them have their own logic, all of them have their own endpoints and templates. And instead of having everything in one central place, you have these separate blueprints, which you just register in the main application, which means that the blueprints can be developed independently, and then they can be just combined into one central application. So for example, you might have a blueprint for a calculator, one for a calendar, one for a to do application, and those can be developed somewhat uh, independently. Now, of course, they can also communicate, they, they can refer to each other, but essentially you can develop them independently and then you can just combine them into a main application, which makes it much uh, more modular, as I said, and it makes it easier for people to work on different parts of the application. So this is what we're going to learn about today. Of course, you're going to need to have Flask installed on your system. But since this is not an introduction video, I think you already have this. If not, for some reason, you can just install it using pip install Flask in your command line. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create the main file or the app file. I'm going to call it main. Uh, we're going to say from Flask import Flask with a capital F. We're going to create a simple application. Um, and here now we're not going to define the endpoints, we're just going to register blueprints. So what you do is you say uh, app.register blueprint, but we don't have blueprints yet. So we're going to first create those, but this is going to be the basic logic. We just register blueprints here. Uh, and then in the end, once we have everything um, we need, we're going to just say if name equals main, come on. We're going to say app.run debug equals true. Um, that is going to be our main file with the blueprints being registered. That's it. The whole logic of the program will be now outsourced into those blueprints. And the creation of those is quite simple. We just create a new directory. Let's call it blueprints. And in here now, we're going to create a directory for each blueprint. So for example, I'm going to keep it simple in this video, hello world. Um, inside of hello world, we're going to have a Python file, which we're also going to call hello world. Um, and we're also going to have a simple templates directory. And inside of that templates directory, just because that's the convention, or that's how you usually do it, we're going to have another hello world. So we have hello world, templates, hello world. And we have inside of the first hello world, the hello world py, which is going to be our blueprint. And here now we can have some basic code. Uh, it doesn't really matter, we're just going to enter something. And because of that, I'm going to turn on copilot so that we can do this a little bit faster. Uh, we're just going to say from flask import, and we're going to import the basic stuff. First of all, blueprint blueprint is the new thing here. So we're going to also import render template redirect and stuff like that. But blueprint is now the thing that we learn about in this video. So we import the blueprint class, we import request or actually we're not going to need request render template should be enough. Uh, redirect should be enough. And yeah, we're not going to use any of the others. So that should be enough. And it already tells us here what we have to do, we have to say, uh, the name of the blueprint, I'm going to call it differently here, I'm going to call it hello world underscore BP. Uh, so hello world blueprint is going to be blueprint. And then we can choose a name, I'm just going to call it hello world. Um, then just name, and then the template folder is going to be templates. So this is how you basically create the blueprint object. So we call this hello world BP, but the name inside of the constructor is going to just be hello world so that we can refer to it like that. Um, then we pass the name and then we pass the templates folder so that we know where our HTML files are. Um, 
So that's quite simple. And now instead of using app dot route, we just use hello world BP dot route. So I can just go and say hello world BP route slash and this is going to be our index here, we're going to just return uh, the text hello world like this. Um, then we're going to define another route. Hello, here we're going to say return hello world again. And of course, you can do everything that you can do in the main application file here as well. You can parse requests, you can allow for post requests for get requests, you can uh, render HTML files, we're going to do it here. Um, in a second, we're going to say hello name exactly hello name, return, not a template, but just an F string, hello name. Um, and then finally, we're going to say, Hello, HTML is going to be an endpoint. And here we just want to return a basic HTML file, which we're going to create here in a templates directory. So hello, HTML. And let's use a heading one for hello world like this. So this is now just some very, very basic blueprint, we have an index where we return text, we have another endpoint where we return a different text, then one where we get uh, a URL parameter, and then one that renders an HTML file, you can implement whatever you want here. And the basic idea is that you have, let's say five developers working on five different blueprints. And my job is to implement a hello world blueprint, uh, blueprint. Now I might have to interact with the other blueprints sometimes, but essentially, I have my own directory here with my templates with my files, and I don't have to work too much with a code that affects everyone, I can just develop my own blueprint and the other developers can develop their blueprints. And most of the time we don't have to interfere with each other's code. That's the basic idea. Um, now what we can do is we can go into the main file now and we can say from blueprints dot hello world dot hello world import hello world BP. And now we're going to say app dot register blueprint hello world BP. And if I now run this here, um, this is going to run on localhost. And you're going to see here since this is the index, we get um, hello world. And now I can just say slash hello, hello world again, slash hello, Mike, hello, Mike, and slash hello, um, HTML is going to not find H Oh, yeah, of course not. Because we need to say it's not hello, HTML, it's hello world slash hello HTML, because this is inside of templates, we have this directory. And inside of that, there's the HTML file. So now it works. There you go. Um, very basic. Now we can also go ahead and create another one now. So we just create a new directory here, we're going to call it calculator. We're going to create a new file in here, calculator, py then we're going to create again a templates directory inside of that we're going to or actually we're not going to use any templates this time let's keep it simple. Uh, but we are going to do different things here we, we are going to refer to the other blueprints so we can inside of calculator redirect to hello world easily. Um, how do we do that? Basically, um, first of all, we're going to define the basic structure. So again, we're going to say from flask, uh, import blueprint render template uh, redirect this time we're also going to need URL for because we're going to get the URL for a specific endpoint here in this blueprint. Um, and then we're going to just create the blueprint simple calculator blueprint um, with the same name calculator BP your calculator templates, uh, we don't actually need that. Um, and then we're going to just say, index here, we're going to just print or not print, sorry, return. This is the calculator blueprint. And then we're going to say def, we're actually first a route, we're going to add two numbers. This is what I want to do. Perfect. There you go. We're going to subtract two numbers. There you go. We can just implement this with copilot easily here. We can multiply two numbers. There you go. And then lastly, we can divide two numbers. Come on, I want to write code myself. Okay, then we're going to do it manually. There you go. 
And then finally, what I wanted to show here is how we can redirect to the Hello World blueprint. So we can say here, um, let's call this one, uh, go to hello. Here, what I can do now is I can just return a redirect with an URL for, uh, with a URL for to hello world dot hello HTML. And since we're going to register this, what's the problem here? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, since we're going to register this as well in the main file, it's going to know hello world BP. So it's going to find the URL. And by saying I want to have this uh, endpoint, which is the function. So this is this function here is targeted with that URL uh, for command or function. Uh, we're going to get to that endpoint. We're going to redirect to that endpoint from this blueprint. So the blueprints can interact with uh, with each other easily. Uh, so all we need to do now is we need to just say from blueprint calculator calculator import calculator BP. And here we just say register this blueprint as well. Now we can run this. And one thing that you will notice probably is that we now have two times this um, this index route. So what do we do here? In this case, we get to Hello World. How can I access the calculator? Well, what you can do is when you register a blueprint, you can provide a prefix. So here I can just say URL prefix equals slash calculator. So before I do that, if I don't do that, uh, what happens essentially is I can still do everything. So I can say add one and seven. This works but I cannot access the index, for example, because we have duplicate mappings, we have duplicate uh, routes, if you want. So if I go ahead and say URL prefix equals calculator. Um, what's the problem now? Oh, I need to close this. Uh, then basically, all these URL mappings uh, are based on the prefix that we first go to slash calculator. So now if I go and say, slash at one seven, this is not going to work because this does not uh, exist. But I can go to slash calculator. This is going to be the index of the calculator. And here now I can go slash at slash one seven. Yeah. So Oh, one thing I want to show is also the redirect. So we can go calculator go to HTML. And it doesn't work. Why is that? Uh, did I call this differently? Go to hello not go to HTML. There you go. This is the redirect. And this is the power of blueprints, you can just develop individual blueprints, you can combine them into an application, they can work together. And this makes everything more modular, more professional, it's very easy to understand what's happening. You have these separate components, separate modules, separate blueprints, with their own functionality, they can interact with each other. And in the central file, you just import them, you assign prefixes to them. And then you have this full modular flask application. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.